Hi, this is Bob from DITV, and we're here at the Innovation Expo, Destination Imagination. I'm here with Daryl Mitchell from Goddard NASA. And Daryl, I hear your job is a little more than meets the eye. <laughs> Can you explain what, what it is you do over there at Goddard NASA? Thanks, Bob. Uh, yeah, I'm actually with a group called the Innovative Technology Partnerships Office. And so what we do is, when they develop a new technology for use in one of our missions, they report it to our office and we evaluate it and we look for ways that it can be spun out that you could use it in the commercial sector. So it could be something sitting in your house um, that you use every day. You might not even know that it's something that came from NASA. And so one of the things I, I also do is to make people aware of this, I run a contest called the Goddard uh, Optimus Prime Spinoff Contest. So it's, so it's a video contest for kids in grades 3 through 12 where they make their own videos about these NASA spinoff technologies. And, uh, they, it's a national contest, we do it every year, we're getting ready to start it up again uh, very soon. We'll probably really push it starting in September this year. And uh, it gives a great way for kids to be creative and tell the story about how NASA technology impacts their lives. That's, that's actually very, very on par with what we do here at DI as far as thinking outside the box. One uh, piece of technology or one innovation doesn't have to just stop there. What are some of the, uh, what is maybe one example of a technology that's been innovated for space, but then we use here on Earth in everyday life? Uh, some examples are, uh, pretty much everybody around here has a cell phone. Uh, most of your cell phones, the, uh, the camera that you have in there, most of them actually uh, have technology that was developed for the space program. Uh, things like uh, baby formula. There's additives to uh, baby formula that they use now that was developed uh, for use by the astronauts. Um, there's, there's, there's just a whole host of different spin-off technologies, thousands of these things that most people don't even really know about. Matter of fact, most people think of things like uh, Velcro or Tang, which actually are not actually, they're kind of urban myths, but, um, but there's a lot of them around you every day. Hmm. That's excellent. So if you were talking to some young entrepreneurs or young uh, uh, kids in school thinking about getting into technology, thinking about innovating in that space, what would you tell them as far as a, a way to keep going and, and explore their dreams? I say, well, the big thing is tenacity. Never give up. Always have a vision, a focus. Um, stay after and let others discourage you. And things like what DI is doing here, what I'm learning about, is fantastic. Fostering that creativity. And certainly when you do creative things, uh, there's going to be a lot of naysayers. But you just have to learn to sh shake it off and believe in yourself and move forward. And I appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks for coming down. Thank you, Bob.